They're on pace to win 102 games. That's not a good year. That's a great year. But you're having a great year. The same season, the Red Sox are having a legendary year. And you're probably going to have to play a one-game wild card to meet the Red Sox in a best of five. The one-game wild card is going to stink. Because it's right there for you to completely blow a 102-win season. Right there for you. But if you win that, you hit the reset button, and you get another chance to beat the Red Sox. That's the way you have to look at it. You don't know who you're going to play in the wild card. You don't know where it's going to be played. You don't even know for sure if you're going to stay in the wild card. You got to keep winning. That's why another narrative that's kind of a head scratcher to me. Well, the Yankees should give up on catching the Red Sox and just get their pitching set for the wild card. <laughs> Wait a second. You try to win every single game. They don't even have the wild card sewn up yet. They don't have the wild card game at Yankee Stadium sewn up yet. You see how well the Oakland Athletics are playing? And the Mariners just swept the Astros in Houston in a four-game set. So pump the brakes on. Get the pitching ready. You don't have to start getting the pitching ready on August 13th. That's laughable. You go out and you try to win every single game. And in your dream scenario, what you do is you shave the Red Sox lead down to six. What does that mean? Well, this is what it means. You have six games left with them. And then you grab back control, where you can dream that you can sweep all six. But to think, well, let's give up on catching the Red Sox. Because we can't do it, and we'll just get the pitching ready. You have to get one guy ready. And we don't even know who that guy is, so how would they get their pitching ready? Two months ago, it was a slam dunk that if you were playing a wild card game, you want Luis Severino pitching that game. You don't know that now. We'll see how he pitches tonight against the Mets. He hasn't pitched great in six starts. And that's the, that's the honest truth. He has not pitched great in six starts. Now, before Saturday's debacle, or Friday, I'm losing track of the days, you would have thought that Tanaka could be the guy that would pitch a wild card game. Then yesterday, CeCe throws one hit in six innings, shutout ball. Maybe it's the veteran CeCe. Jay Happ has won both games he started for the Yankees. Lance Lynn has looked really good. So if you gave up on catching the Red Sox, everybody, it's so silly. Who are you setting up to start the wild card game? You don't even have that information yet. And here's another little dirty secret. You might have to win the last game of the year against the Red Sox. Not to catch the Red Sox, but to have the wild card game at Yankee Stadium. So you're not going to throw your fifth best pitcher in that game. I think you throw your best pitcher to have that game at Yankee Stadium. And then you make do with your second best pitcher in the wild card game. You can't afford to travel 3,000 miles to play that game and then travel 3,000 miles back to Boston to start the American League Division Series. That would be playoff death. You'd be setting yourself up to lose. And one other thing Yankee fans have to be a little concerned about as we move forward here. You do not want to play the wild card game against the Astros. You played that game before in 2015. And that was before they had Justin Verlander. And that was before they had Garrett Cole. You want to stay away from the Astros. You know, well, the Astros are going to win the world. Really? The Astros are banged up. They don't know when they're getting back Altuve. They don't know when they're getting back Brian McCann. Springer might be back maybe tomorrow. They just got back Correa, who looks lost, but he'll get it back. And they just got swept by Oakland, uh, by, by Seattle. So Oakland could overtake Houston. And then you want to play the Astros in that one-game set? The, the whole season...
and what it's standing on went haywire four days in Boston. Weird. But they didn't show up. And I'm sorry. Talk about excuses, whatever you want. It's a different team without Judge and without Sanchez. Really different. These are things that you have to be concerned about. Although they have the second best record in baseball, this team is built to win the World Series. So how do they get there? And I will tell you this before we take a quick break and then we'll take all your calls. You don't get there by saying, well, let's give up on the American League East. That's not smart. Give up. So that means you could lose some games now? No, you're in a precarious position. You can't lose games so you can set up your pitching. And setting up your pitching for what? You have no idea who's going to start that or who you want to start that game. These last six weeks, you know what they are? Kind of a tryout camp to see who Aaron Boone and Larry Rothschild wants to hand the season to. Because that starter better be great. Because you might be putting a 110-win season on the line. 